What's up everyone, my name is Mark Plant and this is MPV Vlogs. Hey everyone, like I said, my name is Mark Plant and this is MPV Vlogs. Thanks for coming in, I do appreciate it. What we're gonna do right now here is, I've got a Ryobi, Ryobi, excuse me, Ryobi bandsaw and I snapped the blade. Uh, I, when I bought it, I put in a cheap Bausch blade did not, did not like it, did not like the Bausch blade. So I went onto Amazon and I ordered three different blades, uh, one for scrolling, one for regular cutting and one for deep cutting, three different widths. So let's get the, the blades out and let's put a new blade on this. All right, so the blades that I ordered are from Powertech. Uh, there's three blades in here. There is a three eighths, a quarter inch, and an eighth inch. All should fit my router, uh, not my router, my my bandsaw. Uh, yeah, that'd be one heck of a router with a bandsaw blade on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this. I have not installed a blade in a long time, so pardon me if I don't know the technical terms for the parts that I'm putting this on, but I'll show you what I do and how I put it on. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, first we'll open up the package with and I remember this part with the band saws the blades you got to be careful the way they package them these things are going to come flying out when I open it up let's cut this open and I said be very careful because these blades are very sharp okay so they're individually wrapped here so that is a quarter inch and I didn't say at the beginning there, 62 inch is the length. Okay, that is three eighths. And this one's the one eighth. One eighth you want to use for if you're making curves and, and precise cuts where the three eighths, you don't want to use that if you're going to be cutting thicker wood. So I'm going to put the three eighths on for right now. So what we do, let's open up the top. Uh, open up the bottom. We need to open up this cover. Okay, because we're going to have to go on these guides here. Get rid of this because that's going to be in the way. Let's low On the back, there's a lever. I'm just going to lower this so that I can get the blade on. And then on the front here, you have a wing nut. Just gotta loosen that, take it out. Just be careful not to drop it and lose it because you do need this. There we go. We'll put that right up there. Okay. So we are going to go, like I said, with the three eighths at first. I know when I put on the Bosch blade, I had a ton of trouble putting this on. Hopefully these are a little bit easier. And these are also six teeth per inch. That's how many of these little grooves there are per inch. And as you can see, they've got a little wire tie on there. Just be careful. Like I said, when it opens, it opens fast. This will cut you. Like that. Wow, that's fast. Okay, so what we do, really simple, feed it in. And it's gonna go in. Yeah, this is not easy to do. Okay. Yeah, I'll put it up here. Go in. Okay, might be smart to do is put this back on so it doesn't slide out like it just did. There we go. There we go. What that'll do is it'll prevent the blade from coming out this way. Okay. Slide it behind there. Let's 
get her up here. Okay, down here there is a guide. Over here there is a guide. Make sure that it's in it. That's good, that's good. Let's tighten her back up. Okay, that was way too easy. Close that back up. Okay. Then what you have to do, the blade is on this and see how it's, it's wandering, it's gonna come off. Make sure we're in that right. Looks good. Tight. Make sure it's on the, the wheel properly. Okay, so we got the wheels to adjust or the knobs back here to adjust. At least get them wrong. The thing is, you gotta be careful because you don't want. Well, there we go. Uh, it seems to be on it, I think. There we go. Okay, that went in really easy. That went in too easy. <laughs> but maybe that's what it is. All right, so we will close this up. got a little window right here you can see the blade it looks okay let's plug her in and see how she runs turn it on always oh, stand to the side Okay, that seems pretty good. Let's uh, take a small piece of wood here and see how it cuts. There's no nails in it. Anytime you're cutting, safety glasses. Safety first. Okay, so we'll turn it on. Very nice. No wandering like I had with the other one. Let's see if I can get a straight cut here. I do. I'll use my square. See how straight of a cut we can get. pretty good that is perfectly square so that's it that's okay this worked really easy for me the last like I said the last time I did this it was horrible uh power tech blade first time I've ever bought from power tech right now it cuts pretty good I mean it is a brand new blade so you know we'll see over time how it works but that came out really nice all right everyone that was it. That was changing the blade on a real B bandsaw. That couldn't have been easier. <laughs> I was expecting a lot of problems changing that. When I purchased the Bosch blades, uh, the, that wandered all over the place. That was horrible to use. But these PowerTech blades uh, didn't wander at all. You saw the nice square cut I got. That's the first square cut I've ever gotten on this saw. So I'm really impressed with it. Uh, I'll put links to the bottom below. Just to let you know, I, I do get... Uh, it's an affiliate link, so I could possibly, you know, get money for that. But this is nice. This is really nice. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button down on the bottom. It really does help out the channel. Allows me to purchase this stuff. 
Uh, if you already have subscribed, I thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you could hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button, you'll get a notification anytime I put up a new video. If you're using a mobile device, just make sure that notifications are allowed or guess what? You won't get the notification. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know below in the comments on whether you like the video or if there's anything else I could have done in this video uh, to make it any better. But like I said, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Like I said, I do have a lot of more videos coming. So subscribe and hit the bell icon and you'll get notification anytime I put them up. Uh, like I said, uh, my wife and I are going to be entering into a craft fair. First time we've ever done it. So bring you along on that on, you know, what we have to do for it. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again real soon. Damn.